Okay, let me go through real quickly what we've got here. We've uh, printed our pattern out and it's on four pages. And if it comes off your printer face down, just turn it up, keep your pages in order. And what you're gonna have is top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So that will be the order that you assemble uh, the pattern. And so let me show you a close up of the cut lines. And uh, that will be what we'll do next is cut the pieces before we tape them together. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, right here you see the alignment marks for cutting. So there's your line that will go up across there. And what you need to do is take your ruler and line it up. Draw a line and then cut it. And you're going to do that on each page. So this is the first page. You'll see the alignment mark here on the second page where it's down here. So you'll do the same thing along this line and just alternate each of the four corners on the pages. Okay, now we can lay it out and get it ready to cut. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our paper. So get our ruler here, line it up on our cut mark on each side of the page. And for those of you that are going to use scissors, what you're going to do at this point is mark the page. So you'll take a pen or a pencil and just come down through here and mark your cut line. And then come back with your scissors and cut along your line. I'm going to use a rotary cutter on my cutting mat here to uh, cut this one. So I'm going to use the rotary cutter to cut this one. So I've got it lined up on my marks. And just take my rotary cutter, come right down through here. And there's my first one. And there are alignment marks on each side of the page. You only have to do the inside corners on each one. Uh, we don't need to worry about the outside corners. So we'll just line it up. Do my cut. My second page. Do the inside corner again. There's my third page and on the inside corner on the first or the inside of the fourth page here. So hopefully you have a rotary cutter and a mat. It makes it a lot quicker and easier to cut everything out. Okay, so now we've got our four pages. Next thing we're going to do is tape everything together. So we've got our tape. We have our pages. So I'm going to tape over here. There's page one and two of the top row. So we'll just line that up. And just if, as long as you can get the lines lined up, Cutting this absolutely perfect is not critical. The only thing that will happen is your bag will be just slightly larger or smaller. But as long as it's consistent along the cut, you'll be just fine. So don't, don't sweat it if you're a little bit off on your cut. It's no big deal. I'm seeing a little green even with me cutting with a rotary cutter. Alright, so there's that piece. We have our bottom piece here. And 
I forgot to tell you one other thing. We need to cut the top of these two bottom pieces. So let me do that real quickly. Got distracted by the other process. So let me move these out of the way some so I don't get wild with my cutter and cut them up. And this is the right bottom. Cut this one. These plastic rulers slide all over the place real easily. I need to get something on the bottom of them so they don't slide so easily. Okay, back to assembling. Now we have our pieces. Okay, that will line up. Now I'm going to cut the bottom of the top one off. So you cut the sides and the bottom of the top and the sides and the top of the bottom two pieces when it's all said and done. Alrighty. So again, cut the insides and then the bottom of the uh, top two pieces and then you'll cut the insides of the bottom and the top of the bottom pieces and you don't have to worry about the outsides okay A small piece right there didn't cut this blade needs to be replaced Okay, just line your marks up. There's that side. Line the mark on this side up. So I'm lining this mark right here. Just come down through here and try to tack all this together. And I see a little bit of a gap right there. I'm not too worried about that. It's not enough to make a huge difference. All right, let's see. I've got that. I need to complete this piece here. I'll just try to get tape consistent across the line and that'll keep everything together. And now I've got to do this right here where a tab is. Like that. And we are ready to cut it out now. So we will do that next. Okay, now we're ready to cut everything out. Got it all taped up and ready to go. One of the things you can do to make it a little bit more stable I think I'll go ahead and do it, is you can tape the back side down. That helps keep everything a little bit more stable when it's all said and done. So go ahead and tape your slots in the back. Just anywhere where the pages cross, where the cuts are. Down here where our tab is. Okay, that helps stabilize everything when you can tape both sides of it. So go take the time to do that and it'll be much more stable when you're trying to get everything cut out. 
So this is just as simple as cutting along the lines. That one cut. Line the top up. Just follow the line across. That's it. Rotate the pattern. And you should be able to get the tab and everything on this one. Try to extend this a little bit so I can get everything. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit to the left. Probably should line that up. That way you can come down through here and cut all of this at once. Okay, when I redo the pattern, I'm gonna try to scoot that over. That way when you come down here and cut that, you can get all that at once make it a little bit easier. Okay. That's that main square. Let me take care of this one real quick. Okay, there's our tabs. Now all we need to do is, I don't cut these all the way up with a rotary cutter. I finish out these corners with a, a small pair of scissors, but I do get the line started up until just about the edge. And then all I've got to do is come back in with my scissors and cut the rest of the square out. So that gives me a good starting point. Do this side here. There we go. Let me get some scissors. Okay, now all I'm going to do is come up to my point here. Cut that. Point there. Point there, and then this one. And now all we have to do is come down this line. And this line. It's just easier to cut these with the scissors. You can cut all these out with the scissors if you need to. Just 
like using the rotary cutter because it keeps everything straight. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now our pattern is put together and cut out. And the next phase will be cutting our lining and our fabric out. So what I'm going to do next though is I'm going to kind of go through some of the uh, options for you on fabric just to give you a couple of ideas. Um, let me get that and uh, we'll go through that real quickly. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's go through some of the fabrics you can use. Um, the easiest thing to start with is going to be fat quarters. So you can get these at Joanne. They carry them in their quilting section. Uh, Hancock's. Um, some of the Walmart stores that have fabric carry these also. And these are just the right size uh, to work on these. So uh, just try to find you know, a complementary color for what you're going to be doing. And I'm trying to see what I've got left in my stash here. Yeah, I thought I had some solids. I don't really, but but you could use this as an exterior. That is the lining, for example. Uh, a lighter color lining is often better because you can see better. And this is a, a yard stash quarter uh, starter. It's a yard of fabric. So I'll buy these usually in solid colors, primary colors, and then I, I can use the solid color along with some of these wild funky quilting colors that you have here. So you can kind of see you've got all kinds of choices for what you want to get. But anyway, that's well, there's a solid one there. So, for example, inside, outside, something along those lines. But fat quarters work well. The one yard starters work well. Uh, so any of that stuff you can get. And obviously you can get it cut off a bolt. But these will give you the colorful choices. And uh, you can use it both for the lining and the exterior of the fabric. So that shows you an option on the fabric. Zippers. Polyester zippers. I get 22 inch zippers because we're going to cut them to the length that we need to wrap around the bag. So try to get 22 inch. 18 is just a little bit too short once I get everything going in the bag. So uh, try to get at least 22 inches and then we'll be able to cut those off to the size that we need. So that's the fabric you need. That's the zipper you need. Buy a few of these and the colors that go with whatever you get with your your fat quarters and you make a few of these bags so that'll get you started on what you need to go buy uh, the first video I went through let's see the interfacing that I use so you should be able to find that there so get the fusible uh, fleece for your interfacing get a fashion fabric fleece not fleece but a fashion fabric interfacing for the lining and you should be ready to go then so all right, then tomorrow we'll get going on actually cutting the pattern out and getting everything cut out and start getting it ready to sew up. So stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later.